hello guys how are you doing welcome back to my youtube channel it's margarita here to my new subscribers thank you for joining the family and to my returning subscribers my premiers thank you for always coming back to watch my videos i do appreciate your support and i know you know that i love and value you guys Hey guys, how are you doing? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I didn't know any other way of starting this video, so I just decided to start it here. It's in the evening. Today is on, is on a Monday. It's in the evening. I want to prepare just some, a breakfast for tomorrow morning. So I want to make some mandazi and yeah, I decided to start it here, guys. So how are you doing, guys? I hope you guys are doing well. I hope you're good. So, for the ingredients that I'm going to use today to make uh, some mandazis, I'm going to use rhubarb, cinnamon and ginger, sugar, vanilla essence, a pinch of salt, baking powder, warm milk, wheat flour, and of course vegetable oil. I, will, I am also going to use two eggs and then some lemon. I'm going to squeeze a lemon water a, and then I'm also going to use this top the top the lemon top i'm going to grate this and put them in our mandazi so let me start preparing and of course i'll need a basin so this is the basin that i'm going to use this is where i'm going to need the dough so i'll start by grating the grating these lemon and also squeezing some liquid somewhere so that's where i'm going to start i don't have any kind like um, the measurements but you're going to follow as i do whatever i'm going to do but i don't have like specific measurement for each and everything that i'm going to use i hope you're going to follow and i hope you're going to understand everything that i'm doing Let's start by getting some lemon zest. Lemon zest is the blight yellow thinnest outer layer of a lemon. There are many ways of getting a lemon zest. Uh, no matter the way that you're going to use, just be uh, careful to avoid the pith. The pith, pith is the white part that is under the yellow blight a part that is called zest so because it's bitter if you're going to if you use that your mandazis are going to be bitter they are going to taste bitter and that is not what we want so for us we are going to use greater to get the uh, the zest as you can see and we are using zest because of its flavor it's the most flavored part of the lemon Let's squeeze some juice, some lemon juice. Lemon juice acts as food preservative so our mandazi can last for days and they will still be fresh and good for consumption even without a refrigeration.
add few scoops of flour according to your family my family is a big family so I, i'm going to make a lot of mandazi and i added seven spoons of sugar a pinch of salt two tablespoons of baking powder For cinnamon and ginger I use one like one teaspoonful each. Now let's mix this dry ingredient nicely. Let's add our zest and mix them nicely too. We add our lemon juice and sieve to avoid lemon seeds getting to our dough. Add few scoops of margarine. Let's use our hands to knead so that we can mix our ingredients properly. It's time to crack the eggs. Beat them properly so that it can mix well with the other ingredients. Before adding our eggs, let's add this uh, vanilla essence. It is going to give our mandazi a beautiful, beautiful aroma. Be gentle when uh, mixing your ingredients, not to spill your ingredients away. Let's add our warm milk. a beautiful amazing aroma Let's keep adding the extra flour to the dough in small bits until we achieve the desired texture. Our final outcome should be neither sticky nor hard.
look at this guys look at this our door smells nice and also looks amazing the color of the door it looks so so amazing giving a beautiful lemon color and our door is ready let's transfer it to this uh, container we cover the bowl tightly with a cling film and let our dough sit. Yes, set it aside for like two hours uh, for it to sit. Our dough is ready. Let us remove it from this mixing bowl and place it on this flat surface. We are going to use a knife to divide the dough into manageable pieces. By the use of my hands, I'm going to turn each piece into a small ball, which is suitable for flattening. We divide our flattened piece into small pieces, which we are going to cook them in batches. For me, I prefer bite-sized shape. We flatten the second piece and cut in small pieces the same way we've done the first one. We now heat our cooking oil in a large cooking pot or pan. Then we carefully place our small pieces in small batches to avoid overcrowding. Keep turning them so as to cook them well or sight let them cook until well browned mm -hmm. 
let's remove the cooked one, the one that have already browned, and put them in a large bowl which has a paper towel on the bottom to absorb any excess oil. We are going to repeat the same steps for the remaining batches. And our delicious lemon bite-sized mandasi are ready. Look at them, guys. This is an amazing snack. You can have it anytime, any day. My family love, love these ones. They have it any time of the day. And guys, the aloma in these mandazis. What? Let me tell you, my na, the lily lilies smell nice and they taste heavenly, guys. They taste heavenly. Try this at home. Try this at home and I am sure your family will love, love them. S serve this with tea, milk or white coffee. Thank you for taking your time to watch up to this time. I really appreciate if you love this video, Yummy. give it a thumbs up. And guys, until my next, it's a bye-bye.